everybody. How are we doing? I appreciate the great turnout for, for this important project that we're, we're starting. Um, as, as many of you have probably followed over the last few years, our office has taken a huge interest in trying to help with elder abuse. We were able to set up the first elder abuse unit out of our office, which is a 10-person unit that is comprised of investigators, um, prosecutors, as well as a lot of the the analysts that are needed to put together these types of challenging cases. You may have heard, I'm losing track of time, maybe it's six months ago now, when we had the announcement with the district attorney down here of the largest guardianship indictment in the history of the state. Um, that was over a couple hundred felony counts, and we thought that was a very strong signal to the community to let people know that you can be prosecuted for guardianship abuse. That's something over the previous decades was often viewed as a civil matter and not a criminal matter. So we felt that was important. Uh, the, the way our office is constructed, uh, each local district attorney of every county has the primary jurisdiction, but we've been working alongside our, our sheriffs and DAs in any way we could be helpful. Uh, so we, we've also had three other successful indictments in other parts of the state on guardianship cases where we're pairing with with local counties so it's been successful i'd like to call out mr rod swanson here uh, my chief of investigations who's the, the part partially the mastermind of, of putting this unit together that's that's been very very helpful in this space um, now as for the grants unit we, we, we pushed the grants unit in the last few years to really push for innovative ways to be able to help our communities across the state. And, and this, this is a great grant that they've been able to go out and find, one that we think is gonna be helpful. And obviously is, is, is why all of you are here. Um, so for every report of elder abuse received by aging and disability, there are four that are not reported. So only one in five people actually report these. And that, that's a big piece of why we're here, uh, why we're, we're partnering with this national group to, to help understand all of you that are kind of the front line out there across the state that are trying to help in this, in this arena to understand how we can do a better job of getting people to report, how we can be more responsive, uh, and how we can try to help our, our senior community that unfortunately is taken advantage of. They are vulnerable, uh, especially when you add all the new technology and, and the ways that you know actors from foreign countries have figured out to pressure our seniors. You know, they're sitting on their couch, they get a call, they want to help, and uh, and they're, you know they're being taken advantage of the, their goodwill. So. You know, I'm encouraged that this grant will, will help educate a lot of us on, on how we can help prevent in a lot of these spaces. Um, and I'll talk briefly about the, the three-prong approach that this project's gonna work on. It's gonna work on the, the nuances of cases involving this special population and trying to help law enforcement and other victim advocates and first responders, which is all of you in this room. Uh, we have formed three coordinated community response teams, and we have one that is based here in Las Vegas, we have one based in Reno, and then we have one statewide team that will help with the rest of the state. Uh, we will fund direct victim services for this population, and the result of our needs assessment of our senior community indicate that fun, funding is best used right now for case managers to be placed at local senior centers. And so we have started a pilot. We've either started or are about to start a pilot. We haven't started yet. Okay, yeah. good. I don't want to overcommit, but we're looking <laughs> into the pilot of um, having one senior center down here in Las Vegas and then one in Fallon. It's actually a really nice uh, new senior center that was built there not too long ago so um, you know they've done a great job of really canvassing the, the information out there and, and I think that's a lot of what you guys are going to talk about today and um, 
you know, really appreciate such a great turnout and uh, all, all of you being willing to be part of this project. Thanks to the national group, which I apologize, I don't have the name down. It's long um, for uh, partnering with us on this. And I do want to say, since, since all of we have a lot of law enforcement first responders, I, I obviously want to continue to thank everyone for all the efforts last week and what a hard week it was for our city and our state. But uh, incredible job by, by those of you that, that are paid to wake up every day and, and be that front line for our city and our state. So thanks everyone for all the great work and I hope this is a productive training. Appreciate it.